Man, those are some powerful secrets. I hope we can keep Link from blowing up everything. Welcome back to the Oracle of Ages! Previously, we did secret hunting in Oracle of Seasons. And we got a whole bunch of things. We got bombs, we got seeds, we got, um, a ring that I didn't bring over. What else did we get? There were four secrets. Oh! Upgraded ring box! We can summon maple now. And, you know, first gen ring, because what the heck else am I gonna use? Now we have to, um, well, we had to find the flippers in Cheval's rope. But I have both of those, so now I'm able to swim, and I'm able to rope. Not quite sure what the being able to rope can do just yet. Rafton needs it to make a raft. And we need to get across an ocean, so that's what rope is for. But I want to make it up to syrup. Oh, not at those prices. Um, yeah, Syrup Shop is here now. You need the flippers to get to it. She sells the, um, extra life potion and some gasha seeds. But I don't really need either of those because I don't have the money for either of those. Ridiculous. Also, I got a ring from my gasha tree. I was expecting a, um... I was expecting a heart container, really. That's all I really want out of these trees, except for maybe 200 rupees. But we're in the past. Or, uh, no, we're in the present. We need to go to the past, because Rafton, he can't live 400 years. Sad to say. There's some things in town I left behind. So we might as well take care of those before anything else. Like over here is going to be a hint for a trading quest later. This guy, turning into a penguin. He needs something that'll give his jokes more punch. Maybe a fake mustache. Maybe stop turning into a penguin. Because he's, he's looking ridiculously penguin. But that's a hint to the trading area. We need to find him a fake mustache somehow. I'm not quite sure how a stink bag will become a mustache, but I'm just gonna go with it. I mean, you saw what happened in Link's Awakening with the, the stick and the beehive. Hey, where'd Ting go? Hey, guys, hey guys, where's Ting? Yeah, I, I did that... I, I've been... I've been talking to you guys. Constantly. And now he's a man! Through the power of interaction. Ting is an adventurer! There are four different versions of Ting that you can make, depending on how you pay for his medical bills, or how you uh, choose to raise him as a baby and as a kid and answering his questions. There's four possible ones. There's a musician, an adventurer, like this one here. There's a gardener, he ends up like his father. He gives you, uh, gasha seed advice. And a traveler, which is also known as the slacker. And he channels his, like, inner Punch Tanaka. And all of them have their own bonuses. Yes, I know! You're a hero, just like Tingle! And Link, of course. So, uh, he'll have things for you later. But right now, he's just like, I'm gonna be a hero! He's like a teenager. He's like, uh, he's like 15, 16 now, instead of like 10. But he'll have more stuff for us as the game goes on. We just can't do anything with him just yet. But at least we knew we, we, we fostered a new adventurer. See? Link's an influencer! I cringed a little saying that, sorry about that. So we're known with the present now. Let's go to the past. Where Ting doesn't exist. And certainly no Tingle. I've never seen a Tingle on a Game Boy. I mean, like, Game Boy Color. Game Boy Advance, there's clearly a great amount of Tingle in there. Oh hey, animal friends! They didn't all die! They can't do anything because of Nehru being missing. She's in time now. So they're incredibly bored. Also, I'm not quite sure how I double-clicked on that guy. I hope this controller isn't starting to act up, too. It might be my monster huntering, but then again, I don't use my B button all that often. So I don't know what that's about. Probably just a dirt. It's time to go to the past! The tune seemed a little familiar for some reason. 
Oh well. I'm sure it's nothing. Now we could go check out Rafton. We got his rope that shouldn't exist in this time period. I'm not gonna go show Cheval the rope, because I don't want to cause some kind of weird time paradox that the game will never account for. We brought a rope into a place that didn't exist. It's still being created. And if we give Cheval the idea early, then heaven knows what will happen to this rope. He won't end up in his tomb. He'll probably, like, be rich and famous, and we could buy that rope everywhere. And I'll have to spend, like, 200 rupees to buy the rope instead. Because, you know, time shenanigans will clearly pull it right out of my backpack, right? Instead, we'll give it the raft in. Show absolutely nobody this rope. T show no one. I, I am serious about this. You can cause some really bad things to happen. In fact, once you're done with the cheval rope, you could probably burn it. But first, you need to finish a raft. Alright, but remember what I said. Paradoxes are on the line here, don't question it. There's rules about time. You can't go breaking them, that would be irresponsible. And really, really bad things would happen. Well, he's finishing up the raft, we also need a chart. Yeah, we could get lost at sea. And we could end up smashing right into Link's Awakening, and we don't want that. Last thing I need today is to see Link turn into a toy. So, we're gonna need a chart as well. I wonder if we could find a chart in this time and day. In this neck of the woods. Centralized totally within this game. Also, Ralph is back. He's like, oh, you need plot? I, I have some plot for you. A weird guy has sea charts to the secret island. Well, what the heck are you doing, anyway? All you're doing is using your Pegasus boots to move real fast. And he, he's just traveling through time willy-nilly. How, do, how is he doing that? To be honest, I haven't seen him back in the present ever since he jumped time, so he's probably just running around in the past with his weird clothes on. People are asking questions. Nope. Well, there's nothing else to do here, I don't believe. No. We just gotta find a weird guy with a chart in the present. A weird guy that could have charts. Um, who could that be? I know I saw him before! Oh, I know! It's Beetle! Yeah, we're gonna see Beetle again! Did we see Beetle before? I'm not even sure. Well, time to go to the present. Still, that theme, that theme is so familiar. I can't quite put my wing on it. I can't put anything on it. Not a talon? My beak? Why would I put my beak on it? I'm not eating it. Well, anyway, welcome back to the present. We need to find a weird dude with a chart. I might as well appraise a ring while I'm at it. It's probably a copy ring anyway. I could use the extra ten rupees. The Moblin Ring! Yeah, I think I have that one. Yeah, I do. Oh well, ten rupees. That's gonna be common for these rings. There are some Aegis exclusive rings, but you have to do special things to get them. And we're not up to the special things yet. So, we need to go find a strange guy with a chart. So for some reason, fate's just pulling me in this direction, because there's... a kangaroo! It's Ricky! That's the only kangaroo that sounds like this. You sure can, but it's not patented, dude. Nature gave you those legs. That's like me patenting flight. But Ricky has a problem. She lost her gloves. She was hanging out on the beach and somehow misplaced them. Even though she can't live without them. 
Look, you put a pouch on a kangaroo, that's automatically girl territory. I don't- I don't want to hear it. She needs her gloves. So we gotta go find them. We have access to the beach now because we have the power of bracelet. We can move this rock out of the way. Maybe we could find that dude that's floating in midair, like that one kid said. I don't see any f dudes floating in midair, though. I just see ocean. And by the way, we can't swim the Crescent Island. Flippers are not powerful enough for the ocean. So we have to find another way there. We need that raft. We need this Ricky. Hey, enemy, do you have... Okay, never mind. Ah, there we go! Ricky's gloves! Previously, I had to do a boxing match for them. Now I just dig them up out of a dirt pile. The heck with it. There's nothing else of interest down here, though. Well, there is that other area. You know, the one wrapping around the Black Tower. I think I can swim in this, right? This doesn't count as ocean. Yep, yeah, I can swim in that. There used to be a bridge here, but it kind of floated. Uh, Chabal's house is gone. So is Rafton's house. They just leveled everything here for some kind of highway. I wonder what's going on over here. I mean, a tree in the middle of nowhere means only one thing. Nothing else out there. I satisfied my curiosity. Can't go through that ocean either because flippers aren't good enough. Somehow. Somehow these rocks are acting like some kind of natural filter, and it's turning the seawater into rather regular flesh water. Uh, uh, fresh water, not flesh water. Because that would be gross. And, and that's how I could suddenly swim in it. Link isn't water soluble, he's just salt soluble. Well, enough faffing about. Here you go, Ricky. You should remember me from before, really. I think she hit her head on a coconut. Alright, she's gonna hang out with us. We got Ricky powers again. We could punch, we could tornado, we could jump over pits. Even though we could do that already with the rock feather. I think we get the rock feather after we get uh, Ricky in the previous game. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to do that. Hey, I saw somebody there! She can clear cliffs, too. Which is why you usually want Ricky, because Link can never ever do that. But I see what's going on here. I see the hero of rupees! Yes, I know. You can jump over it. Tingle is here! Man, I miss Tingle. I never seen Tingle in a Game Boy game before. It's 8-Bit Hero of Rupees! Hey, Tingle, it's me! Your biggest fan! Hey, pay attention to me. I'm smitten with Rupees. I love Rupees, that's why you're green. This is the one and only Tingle! THE Fairy! He's the only true Fairy of Rupees! Well, you know, I'm kind of turning 35 myself this year. I could be Tingle. And you could go be a fairy. Well, this Tingle is very obsessed, just like the one in Majora's Mask. Yeah, sure, I'll do anything for you, Tingle. E except for that thing. I know you're thinking of it. There's limits. And Tingle gives his friends his best gifts. A shark to the secret island! He just finished it! That will be 5,000 rupees! I don't have that kind of money, Tingle. This is a Game Boy, Zelda. Guess I'm gonna have to do some slave labor. Mystical Seas? I wonder what that means. There's no collectibles in this game. It's not like Link's Awakening, where you get mystical shells. I think he's talking about regular seeds. Patented by Tingle. You see, that's how you do a patent, Ricky. I found myself a Tingle. And that's why I can't stand Ricky. 
because Ricky can't stand Tingle. You see, Dimitri's kind of an oaf, but at least he ain't judgmental. A Tingle means is he can refill your uh, mystical seed satchel. He's pretty much like the love, love the seed guy in this game, except he love, love the rupee. And we can't do anything here just yet. We'll do that later. But we got the chart. I don't think there's much else in this area that's worth exploring, too. But I'm gonna check down here anyway. Could have used that hard. No, this is pretty much where we were. Yeah, this is exactly where we were. It was all blocked off by rocks and jumping. So now we have to head back to the past. Again! Yeah, I know! There's a lot of backtracking in this game because it's focused on puzzles instead of adventure. Oh, where's the... Where's the closest place? Probably through the Maku Tree. Hi, Maku Tree, I'm just paying a visit. I already got secrets, thank you. She was looking at me with those eyes. You know what eyes I'm talking about. Oh, don't play that music after I just said that about the Maku Tree! Jeez. Link, what's wrong with you? Even though I'd rather see Link go out with Pinkle than the Maku Tree. At least that would make a little bit more sense. He'd steal Tingle's girlfriend. So, now we got a raft? We got a raft that won't rot in water. That's more important. And we have a chart! So we don't get lost on the ocean. Sounds like a good day all around. And we have a few minutes to actually do some... water adventure. We're going on an ocean adventure! It's gonna be Wind Waker now. Oh. Wind Waker has that open world thing. With the wind, it just does whatever it wants, and you got the sail, and it takes forever. I'm not fond of a lot of things in Wind Waker. Cell shading included. Oh, rafting is done as raft! I wonder what kind of fine vessel he built for us. Well, he's not coming along, now. Link, I know you're an expert at boats and never crashed, ever. So I completely trust you with this raft I just built. Alright, let's do it. One man raft. This is what it all amounted to. Oh yeah, this weird pink water over here? is poisonous. I'm not quite sure why. It has fairy power in it. Or something. Ooh, that looks interesting! It looks like the Grand Library! We're gonna learn about the pulsating mass there. Obviously, we can't go to the future with this raft. It's not part of our inventory, it's more like an item. A vehicle. Whirlpools count as pits. Don't fall into a whirlpool. You could graze alongside it, and the water surrounding it is not, like, disturbed in any way from all these vortices. It, it's just... it'll suck you in if you touch them. Don't touch them. Absolutely nothing down here, too. You're just a big room of nothing! That seems a little odd. I bet there's a secret hiding in there. We just haven't unlocked it yet. Hmm, different music means I shouldn't be here. We must be getting closer to Crescent Island. Not again! Man, we should have had some kind of weather forecast thing. Was that a monkey? Th those are monkeys! Alright, where's the wind fish? I'll wake it up for you. Wait a second! That's my stuff! They took my stuff! All of it! What the heck? Oh, this must be what Maple feels like. I'll go mugger to get my revenge. Next time on Oracle of Ages. They took my stuff! <laughs> 